Hello folks, Tim here again with some more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I hope you're all uh, doing awesome. So here we are, day 20. Uh, we're still level 55. Uh, you know, it was a good day in the game. I'm, I'm pleased with what we did get accomplished. So let's start out with our shipments today. So we did the same thing we always do. We just bought the we just bought gear. Spending the credits, not spending the uh, the crystals. So that's, you know, we didn't get anything out of the weekly shipment. I don't see anything hiding in here. In our cantina battles, we got some more chopper shards. So chopper's progressing. We do have 551 more uh, cantina coins, cantina battle tokens, that we could spend somewhere else. I just would rather save them for the reset and get us uh, some more chopper shards in our guild activity. So we did complete the Rancor raid. Um, you know, good rewards out of there. So we were able to buy another shard of Han Solo. He is down here hiding out. And there we go. So we were able to get 10 more shards of Han Solo. So 20 out of 145. And we have enough uh, to get another uh, 10 shards tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome. Super excited to get him unlocked. In our squad arena, we did the same thing. We're just packing Tarkin shards. That's, that's all we're getting right now is, is Tarkin shards. And then, you know, we'll look into uh, getting some other stuff once he is built all the way up to maximum of stars. In our GCW, we grabbed Zeb as usual. We grabbed uh, some Cad Bane, which we're going to keep doing until he is unlocked. And then Poggle the Lesser. We grabbed 10 of him, so 63 out of 80. And again, we'll keep getting him uh, until he is unlocked. So... Two days. If all goes right in the Galactic Civil War, we will have him in two days. And then we'll have to we'll have to take some take a look at some other things. Uh, again, you know, mods as usual. Not spending the credits on mods right now. So what have we accomplished in the game? So in the arena. We completed all our, our arena battles for the day, and we are at rank 735. In our GCW, we completed the whole thing. I didn't have a lot of trouble with it. There was two nodes, uh, not even the last node. I think it was uh, this node here and this node here. We had to back out of and restart the fights, uh, but we only had to do it one time each. And we came out victorious. So that's what? Three days in a row we've completed the whole thing? I think it is. But either way, that's awesome. It's good to have a streak going. Uh, we did not advance dark side battles, light side battles, or cantina battles. However, mod battles, we completed uh, seven. So we completed the whole thing. We didn't three-star everything. I struggled a little bit in here. Uh, and to be honest with you, if it wasn't for uh, having uh, people as my allies, I might have kind of stalled. I don't think I could have advanced um, the mod battles without that. Because I, I really struggled even with help. Um, so a result of that is we now have potency mods. In our mod challenges and I completed it and uh, I sim it every chance I get so we're getting uh, some potency mods so that's awesome super uh, super happy super excited about that uh, we had a, a cool thing uh, come up in events today so in our events we still can't do Mace Windu Fleet Commander training until we hit 56. Then we can do Tier 3. We were able to come into the uh, Ilum Resistance Galactic Challenge and, you know, get... So we were able to complete 
up to tier three, which was cool. I was I was happy about that. Like I was like, oh man, finally we get to do something like this. Now I did try uh, tier four, and you know I, I lost pretty convincingly. But we did get uh, we I guess we have a reward chest, which we get. And, and I'm drawing a blank. I think we get this like at reset or when the event is over or something like that. But you know we'll get some gear. We'll get some credits. We will get some uh, shipbuilding materials. So we're already at 525. Uh, 525,000. I'm sorry. We'll get 10 Po Shards. We'll get 10 Zori Bliss Shards. Uh, which will unlock her. And I've never used her. So I don't know if she's good. Um, I don't know what team she goes on. Like I haven't, I haven't done a deep dive into it. And then we'll get uh, a couple mods. So that was pretty awesome, being able to do that. And then, of course, you know, we already did the Naboo ones, so we can't do them again. We already did the Phantom Menace special event, so we can't do uh, that again. I was surprised we could actually come in and we could do uh, the Bespin Omega battles. And it required Rebels, so that's probably why we could do it, because that's what we have built up. But uh, we used... Uh, Hera, we used Ezra, we used Kanan, and we were able to complete two of them. So we got, you know, 112,000, or however much that is. See, to me, that's 112,500 uh, credits, and then we got some training materials, which we did use. So that was pretty cool. Like, I was super, super excited about that. I had a really good time. Um, that's pretty much it. We completed all of our daily objectives, which I want to remind again, everybody, that if nothing else, if you can't do anything else in the game that day, make sure that you go in the web store, you get your free claims, and make sure that you're doing your daily objectives. Even if you can't, you know, oh, I don't have time to sit through and do the galactic battle. For your daily, you only have to do one. I don't have time to do all five arena battles. You only have to do three. And then when you're doing your farming, that'll satisfy, you know, the other things. And you can auto pretty much everything. So there's no reason not to get your daily objectives completed. And um, that's the end of my sermon. So for character progression... We didn't get a whole lot. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot in today. You know, Kanan, we brought him up to 55, but everything else is still the same. Gear tier 7, tier five, uh, level 5 skills. With Ezra, the same thing. Uh, level 5 skills, gear tier 7, and uh, level 55. Hera, we got... Me made sure that everything on her was level 55, gear tier 7, and level 50. <laughs> I screwed that one all up. Let's start that again. We made sure to get all of her, her skills to level 5, gear tier 7, level 55. Uh, Chopper, same thing. Got everything to level 5, gear tier 7, and level 55. Zeb, we, you know, we need to get Bash to Tier 5, or Level 5, but everything else is Level 5 now. And we're working on his gear. Going to get him to Gear Tier 7, and he is Level 55. Haven't touched Vader in a few days. Captain Rex, we didn't really, we brought him up to Level 55 just to keep his level the same. Um, you know, but we're working on him. We're halfway to Star Number 4, 15 out of 31. Um... You know, so that that was that was our progress on him. We didn't uh, we didn't work on anybody else. We did, however, get uh, some more uh, Jedi Counselor shards out of uh, a Bronzium data card. So we brought him up to his third star, and we're we're getting close on some things. We're getting close on Darth Maul, sixty eight out of eighty. You know, five away from First Order Executioner. You know. 
five away from Talia, almost Poggle. So, yeah, I mean, we are definitely, uh, you know, definitely progressing. We're getting random shards out of the Galactic Civil War, so, you know, that's, that's, that's gonna, that's building some things up. So, I mean, technically, we could probably go in. Where are we? We could probably creep into the Emperor and get, uh, you know, 25 more shards for him with with where we're at. And then, you know, once we get Hera up to her fifth star, we can creep in and unlock him. Same thing with Thrawn. You know, we could probably get in and we could probably get him some more shards. You know, get 50 more shards. And then, you know, once she gets her fifth star, try to creep in there and, uh... Get him unlocked, and that'll be awesome. And then we can we can look toward uh, R2-D2. Because we'd have the Emperor Vader. Uh, we'd have Tarkin. We have Gideon, who we'd have to get him up to another star. And then Thrawn. And then we can go and um, try to get R2, which would be awesome. And then we, you know, Grandmaster Yoda, we have to build up our Jedi. So, yeah, I mean, I, I want to put us on the path to uh, CLS. So if we can, if we can get there, I will be, I will be quite pleased. So we, you know, I mean, we have to have R2 build up Ben, build up uh, Farm Boy Luke. Same thing uh, for Tier Two, for Tier Three, Stormtrooper Han, Farm Boy Luke. You know, Farm Boy Luke, Princess Leia, Old Ben all by his little lonesome self. It's got to be seven stars. And then Luke. So all these, all of these characters need to be at seven stars. Um, but that's okay, because we have time. And, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to, to be super focused on uh, every step that I have laid out along the way right so get phoenix as high as i can get the emperor get uh thrawn then build my jedi up which we already have two out of the five are going to be built up so that we can get grandmaster yoda um build up our imperial team so that we can get r2d2 build up uh our our rebels so that we can uh, we can creep closer to uh, uh, Commander Luke Skywalker. All right, guys. If I don't get out of here, I'm just gonna sit here and babble. So, I hope you all have a great day slash night, depending on when you watch this. Um, you know, if you're new, if you're just finding me, there's a playlist down there uh, that goes all the way back to day one. Um, you know. If, if you're into it, go ahead and subscribe. And, you know, as always, keep the comments coming, guys. I look forward to them. All right. I'm out of here. Take care.